And uh, where are you living now? You you were from Ohio, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah. I grew up uh, right outside of Cleveland, but I live in Vermont. I've lived there for, oh, I don't know, 40 plus years, I guess. Really? Yeah. And I know you don't have good internet service. Oh, no. Dial up. Vermont, actually, at this point, is like a third world country. So, there, and is it a cabin in the woods? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a cabin that I built. It's a log cabin really? that I built back when I was a hippie. Uh -huh. And I got electricity, oh, I think, about 16 years ago. So I feel like I got, I joined the 20th century before it was <laughs> over. <laughs> I love the shirt you have on, and you made it last night. Yeah, that to was last to night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So well, it's clothing, it's dolls, it's, you know. Cards, paintings. Um, I do a lot of calligraphy. And I, and I really approach art as something that I play with. And I tend to not use the word work. And I sometimes consciously say to myself, I'm not referring to this as work, this is play. Because I think it's important, for me at least, to have that view of what it is that I do. I, I feel very... I, I have a very strong feeling that I just have to make art, have to make art, I have to do it. And I approach it from this perspective of, I don't care if it comes out well or not. I absolutely don't care. I just want to make stuff. And a lot of times when I have to introduce myself to people, I'll, I'll say who I am, and then I say, they, you know, they want you to say what you do, and I say, I make stuff. And that's my answer because I feel like that's what I do. I just make stuff. I like to play with materials. I like to experiment with different materials. Uh, I like hanging around with artists who work in different mediums because I get to find out how they do what they do, and then I get to think about, hmm, would I want to work with this or not? Um, and I also find that when I am talking with someone or, walk, or in somebody's studio who works with a medium that I know I'm never going to work with, I get ideas from some of the sure. some of the things that they do, but I don't work on perfecting technique. I work on exploring ideas and exploring techniques. And, and, and I can structure my life the way I want. My kids are grown up and gone. I'm not worrying about teenagers anymore. You know that sort of thing. Uh, got rid of all the husbands one way or another, so I don't have you know I don't have any kind of romantic stuff going on. So I have friends. If I want to see them, I see them. If I don't, I don't. I have enough money to live on. I get to take a trip every once in a while. I can keep the electric paid now that I have electricity. <laughs> well, but but, well, but so what? So what's in your work these days? So whatever fun what's the icon strikes me. Well, it might be stars and might be hearts. Hearts spirals seem to show up a lot, um, and I think that that's that has to do with kind of a you know as I get older I'm, I'm thinking about how life moves through cycles and, and circles and uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't follow any organized religion and instead I'm very interested in lots of different spiritual traditions and so I have my own concept of what the great mystery is mm -hmm. and I think that the spiral is very apropos to that concept.